How was your vacation? It was lovely, thank you. It was very sunny and hot. Where did you go? I went to the Caribbean. Who did you go with? I went with my best friends. That's lovely. How long have you all known each other? We were all friends in school together. It's been years since then, but we're still very close. What did you get up to on vacation? We sunbathed a lot and enjoyed swimming in the sea. In the evenings, we liked going out for dinner and drinks and making the most of the local culture. What was the food like? It was delicious. Everything had so much flavor, and it was so nice to try food different to what we have at home. That sounds great. What was the beach like? It was so hot, and the sand was so soft. We had to wear sandals because otherwise the sand would burn our feet. It sounds like you had a lovely time. I did, thank you. What about you? Where did you go on vacation? I went to Paris. Who did you go with? My husband. Wow, that sounds romantic. It was, thank you. It was where he proposed to me years ago, so it was nice to go back and remember our engagement. What did you do in Paris? We went to lots of art galleries and tried lots of French pastries. We really enjoyed exploring the city and looking through old bookstores, too. I love France so much, and Paris is my favorite place in the world. How long did you go for? We went for a week. That sounds amazing. It was. Talking about restaurants. What kind of restaurants do you usually go to? My favorite food is Italian, so I like little Italian bistros. What kind of food do they sell? Lots of pizza and pasta, many tomato-based products and cheeses. I also like the ice cream they sell for dessert. It's always so light and is the perfect end to a meal. Is it expensive? Many Italian restaurants are expensive, with chefs that have won Michelin stars and rave reviews. But some of my favorite restaurants are cheap and family-owned. Hidden treasures that aren't famous, but are delicious all the same. Do you ever wear formal clothes there? I like to dress up a little if we're going out in the evening, but there isn't a requirement for formal clothes. I think dressing up for a meal out can make it feel more special, but it's a personal preference. I agree. What about you? What restaurants do you usually like to go to? I like going to sushi restaurants. What kind of food is that? Lots of rice, raw fish, and seaweed. My favorite sushi dishes are the ones with tuna and salmon. I pick them every time. Is it expensive? It can be if you eat quite a lot, but it's so delicious. It's worth it. Do you dress formally when you go? Not at all. I tend to go for lunch in whatever I'm wearing. Typically just trousers and a t-shirt. Talking about school. What school did you graduate from? I graduated from my local high school. Was your school strict? Not at all. It was in a small rural town, so everyone knew everyone, and you could get away with pretty much everything. Did you have to wear a uniform? No, we didn't have any form of uniform. There were rules about your clothes, like how short your skirts were supposed to be, but everyone ignored them. As long as you weren't hurting anybody, the teachers didn't really care. Did you belong to any clubs? I was a member of the dance club, but our school didn't really have a lot of clubs. 
Did you enjoy dance? I did, a lot. What school did you go to? I went to a private school. Was your school strict? Very much so. We had a strict contract we had to sign when we enrolled, and they made sure we followed every rule precisely. What were some of the rules? The way we spoke to each other. There was no running, no swearing. Our behavior was essentially just monitored very closely. Did you have to wear a uniform? Yes, and it had to be perfect or else we got in big trouble. Our shirts had to be ironed and our ties perfectly knotted every day. Wow, that sounds intense compared to my experience. Did you belong to any clubs? Yes, I was a member of the Mathletes, the yearbook club, and I was also in the chess club. Where do you live? Where do you live in Chicago? I live on Avondale, which is quite nice. Avondale, where is that? It's close enough to Logan Square. Uh-huh, what's it like living there? Public transit is very easily accessible where I live, so I never have problems getting anywhere. There are many grocery stores within walking distance. There are several parks in the area, river with running path, tennis courts and dog parks nearby. So do you like living there? Oh yes, I adore my neighborhood. It's a very quiet area. Do you live in a house or an apartment? I live in a house. And how big is your house? It's a two-story house with a small space. There is room enough for a living room, kitchen, dining area, garage, stairs, bedroom, office, and bathroom. It seems just perfect for you. Yeah, it is. I love it. How long have you lived there? Uh, I moved there in 2017, so that's about uh, five years. How do you get to work? Usually by bus. Why do you take the bus? Mostly to not have to deal with traffic and crazy drivers. It's not crowded? No, no, I always get a seat. Do you ever drive? Sometimes, but not very often. Like how often? Maybe once a week? Mm-hmm. How long does it take by bus? By bus, usually 35 minutes or 45 minutes if there's a lot of traffic. Talking about health. <gasps> what do you do when you get the hiccups, Paul? I usually take a deep breath and hold it for 30 seconds or even longer. If that doesn't work, I try drinking warm water or putting a few pieces of sugar in my mouth. I've already tried all of these, but they didn't work. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to wait until they go away by themselves. <laughs> there are other methods too. You can try holding your breath, closing your ears, and swallowing continuously. That sounds funny, but I'll give it a try though. Let's see. Wow, it worked. I got rid of the hiccups. Thanks, Paul. Glad I could help. Have you ever gotten food poisoning, Larry? Yes, it was sauteed mushrooms from a steakhouse. I'd had them before at this place and they were delicious. My family took me out as a celebration for a successful completion of a goal. The mushrooms were exceedingly salty, but still edible. This restaurant was 45 minutes from our house. About 30 minutes into the drive, I started sweating and feeling nauseous. I barely made it through the door and into the bathroom before everything exploded. Did you sue the restaurant? I didn't, because I couldn't afford a lawyer. But I've never eaten at that restaurant again. Was this the most serious health problem you've ever had? No.
I had pneumonia a few years ago and was in the hospital for a week. So that was the worst experience I've ever had. Have you ever been admitted to the hospital? No, fortunately I haven't, and I hope I'll never be. Have you ever gotten nauseous from drinking too much? No, I generally avoid drinking too much. That's good. I also keep a track of how much I'm drinking. Moderation is the key. Have you ever gotten a rash from eating something? No, I haven't. I've never gotten a rash from eating anything. So, you're not allergic to any foods? Nope. I don't have any allergies. Do you? When I was younger, I used to be allergic to tomatoes. I would get nasty rashes all over my skin. Luckily, I grew out of it. I can't be more thankful because I love cherry tomatoes. What would you choose? What would you rather, win the lottery or live twice as long? That's a difficult one. But I think I'd rather live twice as long. Oh, really? How come? I think that if I were able to live twice as long, I would be able to relax and enjoy my life more. I wouldn't have to worry about saving up for retirement as quickly. And I'd have the time to relax so much more. What would you do with your extra time? I'd see my friends more and meet as many new and different people as I could. I would be able to travel around the world and see as many places as possible, too. That sounds like a brilliant idea. It would be nice to be able to live slower and enjoy myself without worrying about running out of time or meeting certain standards. I agree. But I have to say, I'd rather win the lottery. How come? I think if I had to live twice as long, I would end up feeling lonely, as all of my friends and family would eventually pass away. If I instead won the lottery, all of the stressful things in my life, such as jobs and worrying about buying a house, wouldn't be an issue anymore. That's true. I hadn't thought of that. With the help of the lottery, I could enjoy my life to the extreme and could treat and look after my loved ones, too. I guess if you had everything you needed to be happy and fulfilled, you wouldn't have to live twice as long to get the same results. Exactly. I like that we can see both sides of the argument. Me too. It's very refreshing. Talking about sports. Do you play any sports? Yes, I love playing tennis and basketball. Do you follow and watch those sports too? Yes, I follow tennis, but not really basketball. I think tennis is really interesting and I love the culture around it. I try to see as many matches live as I can. But anything I can't go to see, I watch on the television or online. Who is your favorite player? That's a difficult one. There are so many greats to pick from. But I'd have to say that the Williams sisters are probably my favorites. They're so legendary and their power and reputation is too incredible to ignore. Do you play professionally? Not really. Mostly I like to play with my friends and family on the weekend. I'm not sure I'm competitive enough to play professionally. What kind of sports are your favorite? I love sports, such as soccer and baseball, though I tend to prefer soccer. Do you play any of them for yourself? Yes, I've played soccer ever since I was little. Do you play casually or in teams? I've always played in a team. When I was a child, I played in a kids' league. But as I've gotten older, I've played in lots of different teams and leagues. I used to play for my local town, but over the last few years, I've been promoted to playing for my district. That's amazing. Do you watch soccer as much as you play it? 
Yes, I've always gone to matches with my father and uncle for as long as I can remember. One of my first Christmas presents ever was a soccer ball. I used to love kicking it around the garden with my friends. That's a wonderful memory to look back on.